Here we go. All right. Top of the hour. This is starting to get problematic. People showing up on time afford the spotlights. <laughs> All right. So apparently uh, Mr. Mulligan, who said he was going to be here for today, uh, we're having problems connecting with him. Hopefully he'll show up in the next couple minutes like we were able to pull off last week with Chad. Um, anyways, today's spotlight, hopefully if he shows up, will be James C. Mulligan. Uh, give me a shout out if you're out there. Let's just do a test. Anybody out there? And no, it's not James C. Mulligan. So hopefully he will join us soon. We'll give him uh, eight minutes. I will do some filler for eight minutes. And then if that doesn't happen, well, unfortunately, we will have to uh, postpone. Hey, Basil, how you doing? Uh, we're waiting to see if James C. Mulligan will join us. Um, hopefully he's okay. Hopefully something didn't happen. Um, let's see if we can get a hold of him. Let's hope he didn't forget. Like we didn't send him enough reminders. Look. Mr. Mulligan. I hope you're not alone today, Basil. We might it might just be me and you, Basil. You want to come out and do some drawing? I might have to break out the pencils. Anna Marie's with us. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Basil, Anna Marie, we're gonna give uh we're going to give James a, a reprieve. We'll give him a couple minutes. Uh, trying to get a hold of him. See? Where in the world is James Mulligan? This does not bode well, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay. Uh, do me a favor, Eric. Just uh, Did you send him another link? All right, send me another link. You're going to challenge me to a predator? You want me to go back there? And... <laughs> I don't know if you want me to do a predator. <laughs> That'd be pretty. Oh, look, we're starting over again. Uh, so we'll give uh, James about five minutes. If we uh, don't get James, we'll have to unfortunately uh, postpone this spotlight. Uh, and we'll figure out what happened. Hopefully he's okay. Uh, anyways, while we're doing that, I don't know what we're, what are we counting down there for Eric? Are we counting? Are we going to explode? Oh, there we go. We're counting down to the rotation while we're waiting. Here's James finds work. <laughs> if he doesn't show up, challenge me to you and your damn predators, Basil. So anyways, if you guys uh, were missing, sound off. So I see Anne Marie's with us, Basil's with us. This may be a very short spotlight. <laughs> this may be a very short spotlight indeed. Uh, but uh, we know Basil's out there. We know Anna Marie's out there. Kevin, are you out there? This might be a very, very short spotlight. It says here he was active 28 minutes ago. <laughs> All right. This could be interesting. All right. Spotlight. I'm saying all right a lot. Who else is out there? I got Basil. I got Anna Marie. We may have to cancel this. I'm always out here. I know. I know. And I'm thankful for that, Basil. Hey, Basil. Do you, you know that little top secret uh, toy venture I was talking about? I got some production stills today. I got some production stills. They look pretty cool. Hopefully, we can get that can kicked a little bit further. It's like uh, it's like every inch. Oh, nope, not him. Uh, Eric, just let me know if he uh, logs in there. We're going to give him until 510, and then we'll uh, bow out. Um, so, uh, if you guys saw the last, uh, hour and a half, uh, we really delved deep into the, uh, Will Smith thing. 
Uh, we talked about our franchise. Is it impossible to get a new franchise off the ground? As always, Joe had many, many feelings on the subject, all subjects. Uh, and we talked about how we're going to be in Philadelphia next week. Um, so I really don't know where to go from here. <laughs> Anyways, I would normally pick up a pencil and start drawing, but it's not my spotlight. <laughs> Bugs Bunny being force choked. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. All right. So <laughs> when are we getting them? Uh, I don't know when we're getting them, Basil. We're, we're trying to make sure we can connect all the dots so that when we start doing pre-orders that it uh, all pre-orders are actually going to get made. So we're just trying to make sure we get all the logistics down. But you know how it goes. All right, we're going to give Mr. Mulligan three more minutes. We're going to ad-lib, and I'm ad-libbing terribly. Uh, Mr. Mulligan, if you are out there, we are waiting for you. This works a lot better when there's someone else on the other end. Impromptu Steven Spotlight. Do you guys really? We don't even have anything ready. None of my catalogs up. Not that there's much of a catalog. <laughs> What I'm working on, I'm working on uh, the website. I'm working on sales. I'm looking on getting ready for Philadelphia. <laughs> That's what I'm working on. I'm drawing. I'm drawing a uh, Iron Man right now. Very slowly. Very slowly. I'm doing an Iron Man. I started it after uh, Endgame, and it's been inching along. Whenever I have a moment to pick up the pencil, which is usually on an airplane. Funny enough, I don't even think I have my iPad here. Do I? No, of course not. My iPad is not here. So therefore, everything I am sketching is not here. Sorry about that, guys. All right, guys. It doesn't look like we're going to be getting James Mulligan whatsoever. We've got no... Let's try him one more time. We're going to give him one more time, and then we're just going to call it. Unfortunately. Oh, James. Hey, do me a favor. I can use any pencil. Do me a favor, send a, send a, a, a link to uh coker let's see if coker wants to come on we were just so we were just yammering jamie i had to cut jump off quick i was yammering after the the round table with jamie and we were talking about what's coming up for the villains very cool stuff um but let's see if jamie will come on we're gonna do a pivot because i think uh jamie and i get along famously Let's see. Is what? Okay. Let's see if Jamie will come on with me. Watch she doesn't. Watch she won't pick up the phone. I literally got off the phone with him. He's not picking up. Well, I'm really not feeling love. I'm gonna get the answer machine. Anyway. Please leave your message. Yep. Let's see. Uh... Anyways, I don't even know where. I don't know what to do or where to go. Anna Marie, Basil, and me. I think that's it. I think we've whittled right down to three people, right? <laughs> uh, we have an April 1st uh, release, and I believe that's tomorrow. <coughs> Pardon me. So, Basil, you should be having your... Um... I don't know. That's a good question. I got to ask Love G, where's the Boba Fett's? I know I saw the canvases come in. Did you get a canvas, Basil? Or did you get a an art print? 
Oh, Love G. See, you got to ask the brains. Love G says uh, we'll be getting Prince next week. Amory, I got nothing but love for you. But unfortunately, James isn't. You might, you know what? You might as well just make it a one shot. You can get. <laughs> we don't need James' catalog. He's not showing up. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I did talk to uh, so let's throw this out there. So uh, we're talking about uh, Jamie Coker's villainous uh, villain series. Um, Platinum. Oh. Uh, what do you, would you see Jamie like? What would you like to see Jamie do? We were talking about doing a Serpentor in Sergeant Slaughter. We're talking about doing a Destro with Lady J and Baroness. A little bit off the so what do you think? If, if you were going to go down the G.I. Joe road, do you want to see Serpentor or would you rather see a Destro? There you go. Let's throw that out there. Try Jamie. I, don't, I, I think everybody's just kind of bailed on me here. It's not looking too good. Let's see. I'll, I'll give Jamie a call. Let's see. Try and can everybody hear that? We'll try Jamie one more time. Serpentor. All right, that's a that's a vote for Basil. Hello. Hey, what are you doing right now? Oh. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's up? Uh, Mulligan bailed on me. You want to jump on with me and talk uh, poison stuff? Yeah. Oh shit! What happened? That's a good question. Come on, let's let's slag them. Jump on and slag. I sent you a new All link. Right. All right. All right. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Jamie Coker. Ah! Hurry up! I'm I'm drowning out here. <laughs> oh, he needs a minute. All right. I'll ad lib for the next minute. Jamie's gonna come on, ladies and gentlemen. Let me see. Do I have a pencil line? What the heck? What the heck should I draw? Maybe, maybe uh, I got a pen. <laughs> I don't have a pencil. I am so not prepared for this. I have a pen. Do you want to see me draw with a pen? I bet you didn't know I could draw. If you ask some people, they say I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. I don't even have paper. I have like, I have lined pad of paper. Predator, you and Predator. Here, you want to see my Predator? Here we go, Predator. We'll do Predator. He's got teeth, right? Here we go, do it like that. Uh, what is the, and then he's got like, uh... Nick! <laughs> you need horror stuff? Nick, I have a whole stack of art prints over there for you, and you're now going horror? <laughs> All right, there we go. We're gonna do. I think this looks more like my pet monster. There you go. There's, how's that? Is that how's that for a start? Is that a good start? Is that worth forty dollars? <laughs> Get my lion. I do have the original here. I got the original lion. There you go. How's that for a start? There you go. There's there, there's my uh, spotlight right there. Anybody want that for forty bucks? <laughs> If you guys are interested, I'll do a spotlight, but I got to be prepared. I got to like psych myself up and stretch my muscles. Oh, you have your game room. All right. Okay, good, good. Nick, it's good to know because I've got, you've got a stack like this over there. How many art prints does Nick have back there? A lot. See, Nick, you have so many prints back there. I asked Lovejeet, how many do you specifically have? She just says a lot. There you go. I, so we're just going to wait for Jamie Coker and then we're going to do a filler. It's going to be an impromptu. It's not going to be a spotlight. Basically all this is going to be is a chit chat. If you guys want to hang out, we'll chit chat for about 40 minutes and then we'll go from there. Maybe Jamie will break out. If you guys want Jamie to break out. <laughs> James. Oh, I got a, I got a message from James. It says, I have it scheduled at four. I'm running around grabbing my kids. 
No. No. <laughs> I haven't scheduled it for today. I have to get my kid. Well, we'll do it another time. So apparently James doesn't know the difference between Eastern Standard Time and any other Standard Time. Is that Jamie? There we go. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but you're 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 pretty dark. I don't know what's going on, dude. It says my cam is on. <laughs> That's okay. It's, like, it's it's a, some wild wacky stuff going on there. Some wild wacky stuff. Let me try. Okay. That's why does my camera not like me? Uh oh. This is bizarre. Nothing's going right here. This is, it's like it's like Murphy's Law. So I heard from Mulligan. <laughs> so I heard from Mulligan. He said I had it from four to six. Four to six. Wow. Yeah. It's like five o'clock right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm like. Yeah, what the heck? Hold he on. Goes, he goes, I couldn't have done it anyway. I assumed West Coast. When have I ever scheduled anything in West Coast time, Jamie? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Anna Marie is uh, making panko chicken and cheesy broccoli for dinner. You want hey, some? That sounds good. That yeah. sounds delicious. Right. Anna Marie set, set up two more placements. We're coming over. <laughs> hey, let me back out and I'll try and back. You know, come back in. I'll come right. right back. I promise. Out and in. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Hold on. So this definitely isn't going to be a spotlight anymore there, uh, Eric. <laughs> Nick, yes, we will be in Cleveland. Uh, it's going to be something, Kevin. <laughs> we don't know what this is going to be. So Mulligan had us at West Coast time, which I have never done before ever. I have no idea how he got West Coast time. Uh, Nick, I am going to be in Cleveland, yes. And if you can uh, knock out some of that bill, yes, I will bring it for you. Did you hear that, Love G? We're going to have to get Nick some prints. Because all I know, Nick, is you may have a smaller corner, but uh, you still have a corner in that office over there. That big damn transformer is taking up most of it. You got the big transformer still sitting over there. You've got uh, a big 27 by 40 canvas sitting over there. Two? You got two canvases sitting over there. Kevin, you know, Kevin, can you draw? You might as well come on in. Yes, he's in California. He's either he splits his time. He's either in Florida or California when he's not anywhere else in the world. That, that's what James does. He's either in California or in Florida or he's everywhere else in the world. I don't even think James know what time zone he's in most of the time. Yeah, Jamie can spotlight. There you go. So I think I think Coker might have said, you know, I, I don't want to do it. I'm out. <laughs> this is called uh, this is this is what live TV does to you. And you, you and I can have a competition. Look, there's my drawing. Here's my sketch. That's the predator. There's the predator for you, uh, Basil. Is that a good looking predator or should I keep going? <laughs> should I buff him up? Maybe have him uh, doing a, a pose? There we go. Let's, uh, let's have him buff up. He's going to do uh, like... Uh, you win? Uh, okay. You didn't even try. You didn't even try. There we go. I don't think he's... I think... Uh, I win. I think uh, Jamie might have bailed on us too. All right. There we go. There we go. So so I've got him... Let's see if you can see that. There you go. I've got him doing a muscle pose now. How's that? Anybody want that for 40 bucks? <laughs> there we go. Here, I'll back get his back up. Let's 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 get this really uh should I give him like a championship belt? You're trying to start drawing again, Nick? That's awesome. 
Here we'll put a we'll put a belt on him. And an ode to uh, John Hebert. We'll put a belt on him. <laughs> Basil, if you bought something, you know what? I'll sign it and I'll throw it to you. I got to make sure I got nothing important on the other side. What do I have on the other side? Okay, th th this is for Basil. Basil, this is your predator. Look here. Look here. <laughs> it's what if predator was in WWF? And I don't care. I don't care what anybody says. I am not calling it WWE. All right. I don't care. I don't care if it's been over 20 years. I am not calling it WWE. I'm calling it WWF. That's all I care about. Hulk Hogan era. 1984 up until 98. 80, yeah, that's it. You like it? All right. There you go. This is going to Basil. This one's going to Basil. Should I do a background, Basil? What do you think? You, th you think that's good? <laughs> All right. Is it ready or are you doing more? I, I don't know. Do you want me to do more? Rest is it WrestleMania weekend, Nick? Who's going to win? Title on title. I think that's what's going on, right? Is this still title on title? Nick, is it still title on title? Who's going to win? Who do you want to win? I think we completely lost. Uh... Here, all okay, right, Basil. Two. Lesnar versus Roman. Who's winning? Who's winning, Nick? Sorry, I know that's riveting TV when I'm reading my phone. I think I lost Jamie. Did I lose Jamie? <laughs> All right. There you go. That's This is the spotlight impromptu. I did a real quick uh, predator. Oh, that sucks. Make it clean. I am so tired of them trying to protect both these guys. It's like just... Do a clean win. Someone's got to do a clean win. We all know it's rigged. So it's like, what's the point? Yeah, Jamie ran away. All right, here we go. I'm going to sign this to you, Basil, and it's going in your box. There you go. Oh, we found him. Dude, where have you been, man? I've been dying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. It was, uh, it was a hell of a thing trying to get my camera to work on my phone. I don't know what the heck is going on. Well, there. look, at this is, this is what I doodled. They want me to do a predator. There's the predator. Predators in the WWF, man. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign that. And uh, well, they said that well, you draw. I'm like, okay, I don't have my pencils. I don't have any paper. All I have is this line from the Holiday Inn, no doubt. <laughs> Trisha rushed up here and brought me some, um, some paper and whatnot, but. At least this gives me a chance to show you the Serpentor if you want to see it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so this is it here. So straight on? Yeah. I figured it, I figured it was time to do another straight on one because the last one was uh, Shredder. But I don't know. I'm open to, I'm open to uh, <laughs> changing it up too. Do you want to do this here now? <laughs> I at least wanted to show it to you, see what you thought. Nick says it's cool AF. <laughs> well, thank you, Nick. That's awesome. So so I'm just going to assume that uh, that means uh, amazing fantasy. To me, AF means amazing fantasy. <laughs> amazing fantasy? Oh, yeah. We'll go with that. 15, AF 15. D hey, here's a story for you. So you're not into comics, are you? I've never, we never talked about this. Do you collect comics at all? Not anymore. I used no. to. So I had an opportunity. One of the dealers that I go to, he has an AF 15 4.0. Really? And he says, uh... music to my ears. He says, I'm willing to trade it. And, and I'm like, all right, well, how much do you need? How much do you need in trade? You know what he says to me? He what? says, I need, I need $120,000 in trade. I'm like, well, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. 
So basically, I would have to take everything I have, put it into a U-Haul, take it over to here you go. Oh I would have God. to clear out my whole room for one book. <laughs> would oh you do it? I... If you had a chance to get an amazing fantasy 15, that's my grail. That's like the book. I was this close to getting an amazing fantasy uh, three, five in 20. Yeah. I can tell you exactly the day it was 2015 and they wanted 12,000 for it. And, and they were willing to do half and trade. And I was $2,000 short from being able to pull oh. off. Do you know how much that book is now? Oh, well, since the pandy, we probably got it went up a lot because a lot of books went up during the pandemic. When oh, was yeah. that thing hit, man? It, it, it's stupid. It's stupid. Uh, Basil says he wants a Serpentor when it's ready. He's eagerly waiting for his uh, Boba Fett Platinum. Apparently, they're coming in next week. Love GG. Oh, okay. And... Cool, uh, cool. Jamie says, I'm, I'm eagerly eating. awaiting mine too. <laughs> Jamie's uh, Kevin says, uh, you need to do a Rex. What is with you and Rex, Kevin? Captain Rex was an awesome character, dude. He was like the the the, the primary clone, he was like the leader, man. He was awesome. The, prim the primary clone wasn't that uh, Django? Django's the primary clone. No, Django was the guy that all of the clones were based on. Rex yeah. was like the the leader of the clones, like um, or one of the main leaders of the clones. He was uh, he was also he figured heavily into like the end of the Clone Wars, the 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 TV series. You went black again. Uh, Nick says uh, he, ninety percent of Jamie Coker's villains are on canvas, except for Hordak. Why is Hordak mm. not on a canvas? What happened there, Nick? Interesting question. Is it because he's combing Shira's hair? No, oh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, whatever. All right. Well, I <laughs> I do know that I need to get some. I need you guys to do some Clone Wars stuff. Everybody's asking for Clone Wars. Are um, nobody oh, has Clone yeah. Wars. Well, the Clone Wars is an amazing series, dude. Oh, I, I amazing. I, the the animated Clone Wars was good. It's just too bad that the live. Basically, it had. They had to rely on Dave Filoni to fill in the gaps to make the uh, the prequels decent. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. I mean, so, it, it's the kind of thing that, um, and I, I have a feeling this is going to be a continuing trope that you're going to see in a lot of the series that are coming out. Yeah, the animated series and the live action series are going to make the movies more impactful and make them more and make them more easily digestible. Like, oh, I see why this happened because this happened on Book of Boba Fett. Or I see why this happened because this was in the Clone Wars and all that stuff. It's like uh, you're constantly having to uh, watch the watch the, the big thing and then get filled in all the little gaps with the series. And I, I definitely think that's going to be a thing going forward. Yeah, I but definitely you know think it's going to be a thing going forward. Do you know what's the sad thing? Is what? that it takes, it takes the supporting media to make the movies make sense. Exactly, exactly. No, that's not exactly. That's bad. That's called I bad know. storytelling. I know. That's what I'm saying. It is bad. All right, love you. You can come get it. Here you go. There. Do you think that's accurate? <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Throw this in Basil's box. Basil, <laughs> one day I'll do a better one for you. I promise. So, so. Um, I've been chomping. You know what I've been doing lately, Jamie? What? I have been chomping at the bit to draw again. Yeah. I can see that, and, man. Yeah, I've been chomping at the bit. I've been so busy trying to get everybody else, get this whole company thing working. Yeah. Um, I want to do a droids. Do you think there's any demand for a classic, like the animated series droids uh, can, uh, piece? You know, it would not surprise me. I mean, they came out with those toys and um, hard as hell to get, by the way. But do you, do, uh, you know yeah. how much those toys are? They're ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, let's say everything old is new again, but uh, you, there's the power of nostalgia. Oh, the power of nostalgia. It will yeah. get you every time. And it's. And the thing is, it's not just because it's uh, going back to your childhood and like, you know, or yesteryear, whatever you want to call it. 
and reliving those things that you were attached to then, but also the opportunity to share it with like newer, the new generation and show them like why what they think is cool now, you know, how these things that you were thought were cool then led into that. Um, I'm doing that with my daughter right now, you know, showing her some of the old stuff that I thought was cool. And what, are you um, her? what now? What are you showing her? Oh, like Batman, for instance. Like, um, she wasn't really into the whole superhero thing, really, you know. But then she saw my um, my love of Batman, and uh, you know, it, it led her to like the character Batman. And so, like, um, you know, um, the movies and animated series and everything like that. And you know, she's had a chance to experience some of that. And uh, now it's it's kind of cool that you can pass that along. And um, so are you know, showing her um, the animated series, or are you showing her Keaton? A little bit of a little bit of everything. Like I talk, I talk to about about a lot, uh, I talk a lot about um, like some of the comic storylines and things like that to her. I've suggested certain storylines for her to read. Um, we've played the Batman um, Arkham games together. You know, just all kinds of stuff like that. She's cosplayed as Poison Ivy. Um, yeah, just all that kind of stuff, man. Uh, Basil kind of says, uh, do an ALF spotlight. Hmm. What are you talking about? You can't put a Mars Attacks canvas over your toilet. That is a necessity. <laughs> the landlord. Why is the landlord in your toilet, Nick? That's the more pressing oh, question. God. The landlord walks in your house specifically to look in your toilet. <laughs> you know, every time I'm at a show, I sold two Mars attacks in Toronto. Yeah. And I, and I do it all the time. I said, see that, see that image right there. You need to get a 27 by 40 and you need to put it over your toilet. Cause I guarantee you, if anybody walks in, they're not looking at you. <laughs> They're not. I'm telling you right now, that Mars Attacks is the, the biggie painting for geeks. For 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 yeah. what is what is a better term for geeks? What? Uh, geeks, nerds, uh, nerds, pop culture enthusiasts. Pop culture enthusiasts, yes. That 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 gives a quaff. Yeah. <laughs> I can't and, do a Jeff Goldblum impression. We were like, uh, right, right, right. Uh, pop culture, yeah. Culture, because it's pop culture, you know? Enthusiasts, yeah. <laughs> you see, speaking, speaking of Jeff Goldblum, did you see the new uh, Jurassic Park trailer where he's like, well, why, why bigger? Why does it always got to be bigger? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like he's gone from Ian Malcolm to just being Jeff Goldblum, really. Yeah. It's like, yeah, come on. You don't play the character anymore. It's just you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, Nick, it, 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 it seems like. <laughs> That's nuts, Nick. <laughs> That's nuts. You got to find a new place. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyways, there you go. Uh, so, yeah, I want to do a droids piece. Um, I got to finish my. Did it, I showed you my Iron Man, right? The Iron Man I've been working on for like Iron two Man? years. I did. So, you know, the end. I saw Endgame and I loved, I said, what if you did like um, the vintage looking Iron Man with the Infinity Gauntlet? So I did that. Oh, yeah. I did the, I did a vintage one and I've got it roughed out. It's just like, when do I have time? So I got to, I got to ink it. I, 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 oh, I, yeah. I I'd hoof it over to I'd hoof it over to to Mustafa, but I I don't know where I don't know how that works anymore. <laughs> so yeah, but uh, throw up uh, you want to you want to go through that Serpentor? I mean, sure, if you want. Uh -huh. I was just gonna say um, the uh, I did a classic Iron Man wearing the old Infinity Gauntlet from the comics, yeah. and I did it for the uh, Upper Deck. Um, Avengers Endgame series. I did a yeah. sketch card of it. And the funny thing was, out of all, because you had to do 50 cards, and out of all the cards I did, that was the one they rejected. No. Why? That was the one card they rejected. I was like, well, I, I, I at first I was like, what? Why did they reject? What? But then it turns out that um, 
I guess only having one rejection is a, a good thing because oh. uh, somebody else told me that usually there's, there's like five to ten that they will reject. Um, not to mention the big novel they sent me of um, uh, characters I couldn't draw or uh, uh, looks I couldn't do. Like I couldn't make any of the characters look like the actors at all. Not even the costumes from the movies. They had to look comic book. And you couldn't even do all the characters from the comic books. Like, for instance, Howard the Duck. Yeah. I could only do certain looks for Howard the Duck. Really? Yep. What well, couldn't you? They said it has to be Howard the Duck with a red tie and a brown blazer. Cannot be Howard the Duck with a blue blazer and a, you know, whatever. So it was crazy. You There's a have, lot of restrictions. You should have did Howard the Duck as the blue blazer. <laughs> <laughs> I did do a sub series in the series of like um, all the guys with uh, mugs and they were drinking coffee and on the mug it said I love you three thousand. Oh yeah. Um, and I did the Hulk and he had he had his little mug but it was breaking apart so he looked all angry and stuff. There's some humor in there. I think I did a uh, Spider Man, Loki, Iron Man, Hulk, and I think Cap was the other one I did, and I just had fun with that. Uh, I was like, well, they won't let me draw, you know. Oh, I couldn't even draw us. I couldn't draw the current look of Star Lord. Really? Couldn't draw the current Drax. Couldn't draw the current Nebula. Um, yeah, it was it was crazy. It's crazy, all the rules. But I oh, abided by them. You abide. Oh, I couldn't draw the Fantastic Four. That was another one. Really? Couldn't draw Fantastic Four. Nope. Uh... No thing. No Mr. Fantastic. No Human Torch. No Invisible Woman. But well, you could okay. have done Invisible Woman. You just wouldn't be able to see her. <laughs> if that's the case, I just saw John Cena. Yeah, you, you know you said <laughs> draw the Invisible oh, Woman. Oh yeah. Yes. It's like <laughs> this card is blank. Yeah. Because you can't yeah. see. It's, an invisible <laughs> woman. it's the Invisible Woman in a snowstorm. Oh yeah. Exactly. Perfect. I even did the background. I would just draw maybe like a, a little hint of an eye, or a hint of a a footprint. Footprint. Ah, oh, like, there you go. There's nothing. Nobody done. It's nothing there. It's like, yes, there is. Look harder. But if, it, but if it's one footprint, <laughs> people think it's a one-legged woman. Well, I mean, maybe the other one's like the blizzard is like blowing so hard. I don't know. I could do a series <laughs> of footprints. There you go. I think we're putting way too much thought into this. <laughs> I know. I know. Way too much. Way too much. It's like it's the logistics of drawing. It's been a uh, the logistics of drawing nothing on a card. Yeah. Oh, yeah, speaking yeah. of which, I need to talk to you about um, your series seven. I need two filler pieces. I know we oh, talked that's about right. it. Dang, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, I keep forgetting about it. Because uh, okay. the ones I want, you won't give me. <laughs> <laughs> Why, is that? Why do we have rules now, Jamie? You've been. Oh, man. I tell you, though. Um, uh, the uh the request um the requests are big it's 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 really strange like uh people see all the stuff we have at shows now and they're just like so uh uh first a, a lot of people ask for commissions which of course then a lot of people also immediately have a request like oh my god you should draw this and this and this and this and this and it seems like it seems like a watch I walk out of every show with at least 10 to 15 suggestions of people I should be drawing, you well, know, good. sometimes more. Um, I, I've already decided, okay, apparently I got to do a, some wrestling drawing because I hear it at every single show. So um, uh, yeah, you don't watch wrestling, right? At all. I was big in wrestling up. In, I told you, I, I don't know if you heard earlier. It's WWF. I don't care about WWE and I'm in it between 1984 and, in around 1998. You're muted, but you're mute. There you go. Oh, you're still mute. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, like I get a lot of requests for, uh, there's a wrestler. He's um, He just signed with AEW not too long ago. His name's Dan Housen. Yeah. Um, man, that is a, that is a popular request. Um, you know what's the fun? You know what? Here's one that really got me. 
I've gotten a couple requests for Weird Al Yankovic. Really? Yes. I am not kidding. I've gotten a couple requests for Weird Al Yankovic. Oh my gosh, you got to draw Weird Al. Weird Al would be amazing. And I'm just like, hmm. You, you Weird know, Al Yankovic. You know that one drawing you have? What's that character? It's like he's got that funky, he's got the earrings and he's got the funky shit all over him. It's a big soul. Oh, oh, Morty Malone. Yeah, the Malone. Yeah. Like that one, I could see you doing something. That's a Weird Al type stylizing. Yeah. 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 I just, I, uh, well, first off, my first thought was when did Weird Al become like in vogue again? You know? Like, yeah. I guess, I mean, maybe he never went away and I just don't know. But yeah. well, he did. He did. Of he all did. things. Of he all did. Things. Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to think like, um, so you know that uh, Chad Harden has um, a new book coming out he's doing with Artist Elite. Uh, I forget what, what it was. Oh, called. yeah. And it's a vampire one. Yeah. So I, he was saying, yeah, I got to do some variant covers, but I don't know who to ask. I was like, dude, go talk to Jamie. I was like, that's right up your alley. Uh, like doing some horror vampire yeah. shit. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, horror and vampires. Yeah. So you should send him a DM say, so are you looking? Are you, so I hear you're looking for some uh, variant cover. That'd be cool. That'd be real cool. Death I Watch. Got a, vampires. That's what it's called, Death Watch. So, yeah. So I, I thought that. Oh, was, okay. I think you're starting to chop yeah, up. Like a no yeah, anyways, anyways, I thought I thought we would uh, just chit chat. So, hey, hey, I've been dying to talk to somebody about this. Oh man, now I lost mine. Son of a. <laughs> I don't know, man. They got it in for us. I know, right? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you just fine. Oh, there it is. I got, I got to hit the button again. Oh, uh, wrong button. Now I'm over here. <laughs> uh. The stupid freaking. See, now everything just went crazy, right? Did I just nah. disconnect? It's one of those things, man. Uh, the things that could happen will. There we go. No. Now you're all dark. You, it almost looked like the power in your building went out. That's what it kind of looked like. You know, like I, I could see the outline of your hat, and I could see the window behind you, but everything else was dark. Yeah, dude, dude <laughs> the, the place I'm in is falling apart. The place I'm in is just falling apart. Well, I went to the the bathroom, and there it, it was broken. Literally, the toilet seat was broken like this. And I was like, let's see, let's, let's see how long that takes to get fixed. Two weeks later. Uh, I come in and they literally put packaging tape around it. What? <laughs> That's it? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not sitting on that. I'm not sitting on that. You, you, know, you know what Kelly says to me? Hover. What? I'm like, no, I'm not hovering. <laughs> I'm not hovering. Hover? I don't hover. I don't oh hover. Oh my gosh. I don't hover. So, so I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. And then my slumlord, I'm sorry, I mean, my landlord. Uh, sends me an email saying, oh, we're going to increase your maintenance by $100 a month. I said, wait, wait, wait. You want to jack up the maintenance rates when there's like tape holding the toilet together? I said oh that my email. Gosh. I, uh, today I went to the bathroom. Guess what? They fixed the toilet. <laughs> oh, like, we'll fix that toilet. We'll, fi we'll show him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. boy. They're like, now he's got nothing to complain about. <laughs> That's one problem fixed. Now just everything else. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, you know what I'm gonna do? I gotta I gotta spruce this place up. I gotta go get a Mars attacks and put it right behind the damn toilet. That's what I gotta do. There you right? go. There you go. That'll teach yeah. him. That'll that teach would him. teach him. That, Gosh. Yeah, the kind of thing where they open the door and they pee their pants immediately because there's an alien scaring staring back at them. That's right. That'll teach him. That, that's right. That, that, that's, a <laughs> that's a true man's throne right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man 
Okay, so let's oh, here's some I, I did. Hey Matthias, unfortunately, guys, um James C. Mulligan uh is not doing the spotlight today. Uh he had a scheduled at Pacific Standard Time when never in the history of mankind have I ever scheduled anything <laughs> at PST. Uh yeah. Anyways, uh, Jamie and I have been just shooting the shooting the shit for the last uh, forty minutes. All right, I've been dying to talk to somebody about this. All right, yes. So, uh, you know how we've been talking about Super Seven? You know they got all yes. the cats and all that stuff. Have you been seeing oh, yeah. how they just getting roasted nonstop? I am really worried. <laughs> roasted. Yeah, for quality control. What do you mean? So apparently the latest uh, cats that came in are just horrible. Apparently a tiger looks more like a pumpkin than tigra. Ooh. And uh, apparently the um, the turtles that have been coming in haven't been too good. Oh. I know. It's well, like yeah, I, you warned me. You warned me. I'm I'm I worried. did. I, I, I did. Did, but at the same time, I don't wish ill on people or anything, you know? Um, it's just uh, people pay big money for these things, you know? They're not like the cheap uh, $10 figures of, of, of yesteryear. They're like 55 bucks a piece. So for, for it to be that bad, oh, I hadn't heard about this, but now I'm like legitimately like, oh, I wonder how long, much longer I'm going to have that license. Because, I mean, how many people have the, the Turtles license right now? Everybody, Playmates, NECA, Super Seven, um, Hasbro is probably gonna have it soon, but maybe Mattel, maybe you know, it's like it's crazy if they can't get their stuff together. That doesn't bode well. I I don't know. I'm just I'm worried like because they've been they've it's not a secret that they've been having problems um, getting their act together overseas, but. I don't know, man. I just it like I'm dying for good Thundercats and Silverhawks, and for the love of God, I finally get yeah. it. I finally get it, and it's gonna be like I'm worried. Well, I'll, I'll see. I'll see. Yeah. On, apparently, my wave four Thundercats, and I don't know what wave of turtles we're at, will be in Philadelphia for me. So, Can, I, I, well, I, go ahead. I mean, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and i still uh, haven't I'm, gotten my damn alley vipers like how many do you have now i have five bats and i think three alley vipers so are I you army three. building am i what are you army building oh no 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 um I'm just well. Yes, you just are. Just of you these, have five bats. You just, cannot just be your nice. Just of just of these. I mean, like if someone wants to trade me for a bat, I'll probably trade it. But um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not like uh, you know, like oh, any any time I would see one in a store, go pick it up or anything like that. I'm not I'm not crazy pills or anything like that. You know, I mean, I think they are cool as hell though. I mean, I, dude, I love the Alley Viper figure so much more this time around than when yeah. it first came out. Because the first time, first time I saw it, I was like, "What the hell is this? Orange and blue? Is this oh, supposed to be yeah. some kind of camouflage? I can see it from space. You're not hiding anywhere." But no, uh, the, cool, I don't the, know. Cool, the, the new cool one. Cards. <laughs> they all got the there's, stop sign. The Cobra Crossing Guards. Yeah, that's where the kids are there for the kids. The kids. All right, kids, go behind me. Go behind me. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, and you know why they have the visor? I can see, and they just happen? raise up the visor. Yep. You know why they have the visor? Why? They're embarrassed. They're embarrassed. They don't want they don't want the they don't want their neighbors <laughs> Oh my gosh. No, don't tell, um don't tell your mom, little Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but, but I was going to say about your turtles, just wait, Todd McFarlane will probably get the license. Oh, for God's sakes. I, I haven't even, wait, touched his his I haven't even, I haven't even, they're not, they're not bad. They're not bad. They look overcooked. Dude. Some of them are, look pretty good. 
Yeah. Some of them look pretty good. I mean, I have a I have a wall of them downstairs. Do you? Like, how many do I have? Yeah, I have a. Well, uh, I have most of the Batman's that have come out. Um, I didn't get the animated one because it looked so weird. His legs were like this big around, and the body's just like you know, it looked weird. So I didn't get that one, and then I didn't get. Um, there's a that have come out since then that I haven't got, but. Uh, most of the Batman that came out previously, I do have, um, especially yeah, like yeah. Um, what was it, the Grim Knight? Oh, that figure is dope as hell, man! Batman with a bunch of guns, man, you can't really go wrong with that. And he's so hard to find too. He's really hard to find. Punisher, Punisher with a cowl. Yes, exactly. Punisher exactly. with a cowl. Exactly. Yeah. It's like yeah. you have you guys had such yeah, yeah. The old the other... Batman doesn't doesn't mind using guns. Eh. Then he's not Batman. Did I lose you, Jamie? <laughs> oh, there's a delay. Oh man. I, I'm surprised no. I'm surprised you're collecting McFarlane. Man. Oh shoot. Not so much anymore. Um, if anything, I'm I'm buying uh still getting GI Joe classified. Um, GI Joe classified is my jam. I was picking up some of the Star Wars Black series, but not so much now. Yeah. So are you gonna get now that they've? Oh, for God's sakes! So now that uh, my camera turned off, uh, are you gonna get the uh, classic looking uh, Black? Um... Oh, oh, the Joes. Yeah, with the new packaging. You know, I've thought about it. They already had them on for pre-order on Hasbro Pulse, and I missed them. Um, I mean, if I see them, but like the Lady J doesn't look so much different than the old one or the the one they already put out. And then uh, the Destro, I think, really, it's pretty dang similar, except for like, like the eyebrows. I think. Yeah. Um, what was it? Yeah, it was like Baroness. Mm. I mean, it's a little color variation, but not too, too much. Um, what was it? Baroness? Uh, it was just Gung Ho's the other one. Now, the yeah, Gung Ho one. Baroness, Destro. Yeah. The Gung Ho one, I might get that one just because I love the old outfit. Because yeah. honestly, to me, it makes it's so ridiculous. It makes no sense. Even when I was a kid, I was like, I don't understand why this guy's wearing this bright teal color. But I liked it anyway. <laughs> So yeah, I don't he's get it, the, but it's he's cool. the arch nemesis of uh, Alley Viper. <laughs> maybe, maybe I don't know. Like, GI Joe like, fashion. I, we've I, got teal. We have we have a teal soldier. We need the bright orange Cobra enemy to uh, pair off with. I know, and then it's it's crazy too because uh, there's some of those characters you look at. And you're like, as G.I. Joe went along, like there's a guy psych out. He, it looks like yeah. he has like some kind of implant or something sticking out the back of his head. And you're just like, this guy's really on this team. And he's got like little uh, satellite dishes hanging off his elbows and uh, some kind of like weird thing going on. And then, I don't know, and then on the same team with a guy with a Hawaiian shirt. I'm like, oh, all right. Okay. I, think, I think what happened, sure. I think what happened. They did the movie and they did that Cobra Lock crap, and they're like, "Yeah, all right, we're just, oh. we're just gonna throw caution to the wind." <laughs> <laughs> I was not a fan of that Cobra Law thing. Oh my god! <laughs> we're just gonna Watch we're just gonna slap any color and any gadget. Like like you see some of the '90s Joes, like they have like the oh. and a half missiles. <laughs> what the hell is the ice cream soldier? Oh my god! And these and why doesn't it come things? with any ice cream? There's no ice cream in the ice cream soldier. <laughs> I know. And if I he mean, did, it'd be a sherbet, damn it. <laughs> it's like you saw these figures and you're just like, these are, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, I think they're I'm like, done. this thing's got so much shit, we're putting it on a tree. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, to me, like, how people revere these things, I, I don't know. I really yeah. don't know. I, I but more power to them. I, they I, they found a value in them that I will never see. I think as soon as they, like I said, is like as soon as they released the uh, the line with um, 
uh, Dial Tone and uh, Tunnel Rat and the Alley Viper. Mm -hmm. After that, it's just like, whatever. It just went the hell in a handbag. Yeah. And yeah. I can't even Or like the what... Mortal Kombat ones. Like, really? Or the Street Fighter. They did, they did Street Fighter, remember? Yeah, Street Fighter, Street Fighter. Street Fighter, yeah. yeah. I was just like, God, man, I, no. I hate those I was... I enjoy G.I. Joe. I follow G.I. Joe. I know we've had this conversation. And the classifieds. You know how many times I've dove into the classifieds and I just went no and sold it all? <laughs> and you know because you've been with me on the whole damn journey. Like how many yep. times I said, yep. that's it. Yep. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. Yep. There is no yep. bloody blue hell. I am paying 80 bucks for a major blood. No. And then they came out with the damn alley viper. Yeah. Those son of a yeah. bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get out and they pulled me right back in. I know. So, you know um, I love alley viper. Um, if there's two things, if there's two Joes, if I see a vintage that I can't help myself with, alley viper and bats. Love yeah. alley viper. Love Ali. Yeah. That big boa. I don't know why, yeah. but I love that big boa. Like it's so ridiculous. What are you gonna do? Big boa with the big with the with the gloves and the helmet and the spikes that crossover boa. thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love big oh boa. Oh gosh. Here's some boxing gloves. I Go beat him. up BGI Joe. Go beat up BGI Joe. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like we're not gonna give you a weapon. Uh you got those boxing gloves you brought in, right? Yeah, why don't you just put those on and run out in the front? <laughs> yeah, what, am what am I gonna fight with? Here, here's a punching bag on a pole. Go. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 function Big Boa serves in the grand scheme of Cobra? I'll never know. I mean, is he a trainer? Is he, he can't be a guy on the fighting in the front lines or anything? So, I mean, so what is he when, ask for? I have a, a good question. I have a theory. He teaches boxing underwater. <laughs> <laughs> he I mean, is hell, that's aquatic, as good a guess as anybody. He's an aquatic boxing specialist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know he's supposed to be the nemesis to the canceled Rocky Balboa G.I. Joe figure, but yeah. still, did you really need to put him out? Because he's just... He's just so a guy. Ridiculous. He's so ridiculous. I love him. <laughs> He's like, it's like the boxing, the S and M gear, the helmet. It's like, what is this? What is this? It's oh beautiful. My gosh. You notice my favorite GI Joe's is the most ridiculous one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do draw the line. I oh, like a. Well, did you like uh, Crystal Ball? No. No, no, no. Or did you like uh, Falcor? Was that his name? No, that's for the my line. He's dressed like a big bird. No. What that's else? That's my line. That's my line. Oh, what okay. the hell? Okay. Anyway. I mean, Dr. Mindbender was already kind of pushing it, right? <laughs> no, he, you know? he was an out of, he was an out of the job 70s porn guy. And he got hooked <laughs> up to the wrong crowd. <laughs> I mean, and seriously, I mean, if anything, he looks like a doctor who maybe has uh, developed some new steroids, if anything. Uh, you know, with the way he looks at everything. Oh, it's he's, like, got, yeah, he's got the 70s stash going? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. 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 It, that was a lot to take in. A lot. You know, I remember the first time I saw that thing on the peg, I was like, Dr. Mindbender. And I, I couldn't understand the shirtless thing. It's like, it just blew my mind. And, and oh, if, you, if you bought you, what you didn't know, there was a secret. If you bought three Dr. Mindbenders and sent in the proof of purchase, you get yeah. LSD. You get LSD. <laughs> it's like, oh, I didn't expect this package. What is this? Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, <All right>. well. <laughs> so we've just been slamming G.I. Joe for the last <laughs> 20 minutes. Uh, it is six o'clock. Uh, no, I, I still got love for him. I know, I know. I, 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 I try. I really do. 
I, I'm a I'm a big Coco fan, and, and I don't I keep oh, every yeah. time I got I can't I get it one day I'm just gonna take out all my Alley Vipers. Now that I'm starting to get into Joe's, I have like three tins of Joe's like this. I I just buy them wow. and throw them in the box. It's like comic books. Buy them, okay. throw them in the box. So I'm gonna I'm finally okay. getting my Joe's. I'm gonna break out all my Alley Vipers and I'm gonna take a picture and send it to you. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd yeah. be cool. So I think oh, we man. lost. I, I think we've completely lost our audience mocking GI Joe. <laughs> even, even 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 Basil went nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we got to wrap it up because uh, Love G and um, Eric want to get the hell out of Dodge. So uh, I want to thank you for uh, stepping in. Uh, we're definitely gonna have. To- oh, Basil still. <laughs> Basil, you may still be here, but I'm sure you went nerd. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to. We're definitely. Well, we appreciate have, you guys sticking around. Yeah, thanks for sticking around. And and actually, you know, I think this is kind of fun. I think people would enjoy this because uh, we can't talk like this when the other guys are here. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Like we we can't talk about GI Joe and this type of stuff. Cause like Joe, Joe basically starts waxing poetically about the past. And then Mustafa basically <laughs> slams everything that's on TV. There's no room for this type of <laughs> what's wrong with this <laughs> GI Joe character. Who are all these people? Yeah, Thomas. There you go. <laughs> Wait, was that your Jerry Seinfeld? Yeah, was it bad? <laughs> was that a bad Jerry Seinfeld? Hey, it wasn't too bad, actually. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad at all. I don't think you understand. You can take that the reservations. You just can't keep the reservations. Do you know how many times I've pulled that out <laughs> on the road? <laughs> no, sir, we don't have the car that's, that's that you... That's one of my favorite moments. Yeah, no, no sir. Wait, I, what now? Why, the, the, when I was in uh, Orlando, I went to get my car rental and they gave it away because i was two hours late oh I'm like, yeah how can you give away a car i've rented i paid you for it well sir you weren't here on time well, i don't think you understand the concept here i called <laughs> i paid for it that car should be here whether i'm here or not but sir you weren't yeah. here on time but we can't find your replacement no no i don't think you understand <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. wow. Anyways, they're packing up. Right <sighs> <there. laughs> all right. All right. All right. Thank you, Jamie, for sticking in. Thank you, Amory, Basil, Thomas, Kevin, Nick. Put that damn thing on top of your toilet. Lean it, for God's sakes. I don't care. But that Mars attacks must be, oh, be over the toilet. It is the biggie painting for, what did you, what did we call them? Uh, enthousi- uh, pop culture enthusiasts. Uh, pop culture enthusiasts. Yes. Pop culture enthusiasts. <laughs> yes. Yes. The pop culture enthusiast must have the Mars attacks. It is the Biggie Smalls. <laughs> <laughs> it is the quintessential piece. Yes. 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 It it helps. It helps <laughs> the uh, the bouquet. Whatever. All right. Now we're look at now my camera's like, you know what? Now I'm cutting you out. It really brings right. the room together. <laughs> All right, guys. You don't know this, but Jamie and I could go on like this for hours, but unfortunately, people want to leave. <laughs> All right, Jamie, thank you for salvaging this. Maybe you and I should start our own con. We should bring back comic vomit. How about that? And it'll just be me and you waxing poetically for an hour. Hey, whatever, man. All right. Sounds good. All right, guys. uh, We're going to take off. uh, Come back tonight. I will be on the Toy Hive uh, slinging some plastic. Uh, Maybe, Jamie, you might want to buy some of my Alley Vipers. Uh, (laughs) Probably not. He's got enough. Um, So uh, come on back tonight, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. I'll be on the uh, Toy Hive slinging some plastic. We are off next week because we're going to be in Philadelphia. Not Jamie, though. He's going to be in Michigan. Michigan, right? Michigan, yes. Jamie will be in Michigan. So if you want to get uh, a Villainous Villains, uh, go see Jamie in Michigan. If you want anything else, come see us in Philadelphia.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you in two weeks' time. And the spotlight, and pray to God that he shows up, will be Pablo Villalobos. And if he doesn't nice. show up, we're going to have Jamie on standby so we can wax poetically <laughs> more about ridiculous GI Joe's. All right, Jamie, the next time we do this and you do yeah. it as a stand-in, ridiculous Transformers. Ooh, okay. Yes. There's some bad ones. Yes. Yes. And, I'm, I, and here, I'll give you some food for thought. <laughs> Metroplex. He turns into oh, a building. He turns yes. into a building. Oh. How do you play with a building? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's right. painful. That's painful. It is painful. It is painful. <laughs> All right, guys. So now that I've ended on a sour note, good night, everybody from the Great White North and Minnesota. And we'll see you guys in two weeks. Good night, everybody. Or tonight. There we go. <laughs> <laughs>